in a pluralistic, multicultural, relativistic, shrinking world like ours, this will be harder and harder and harder to believe. Because they're not just in Africa and Asia, they're right next door. Buddhists, Hindus, Muslims, and Jewish people. You know them at work. They're your friends, for goodness sakes. And you want them to be. And when they ask you, so you're saying, if I don't embrace your Jesus, you think I'm going to go to hell? What are you going to say right there? Well, it's kind of complex, and there are disagreements in the church, and, and there are a lot of scholars and a lot of opinions, and weasel, weasel, weasel. We got out of that last week, right? We're done with that. We are done with that. We are real. With tears rolling down our faces. I don't want to believe that about you. I want you with me. I'm just a beggar. I have nothing. I'm nothing. Jesus came into the world to save everybody. He wants Samaritans and Muslims and Jews and Hindus and Buddhists and every race and ethnicity and socioeconomic. He wants us. He's reaching out. I'm talking to you right now. I want you in heaven with me. Go there. Don't get into an argument. Go there. Plead. So that they see. This is, not, this is not an argument. This is not, look which mountain. It's not about mountains. It's about Christ, God's Son, came on a rescue mission to every religion. Which is why Paul and Jesus and Peter all laid their lives down to reach the nations, the religions. All missions is going today to places that don't want you to come. You guys say, well, if they don't want us to come, we shouldn't go. Baloney! There wasn't a city on the planet that wanted Paul to come, which is why he spent half his life in jail, beaten with stripes five times, with rods three times, shipwreck over and over. He went into synagogue after synagogue where they drove him out. You don't go where you're wanted. You go where you're needed. You, you die if you have to in order to show who he is. 